Hi, I'm Fox. I'm Raggable. And this is PSP Hacking 101, episode 28. He's counted. I right. think. I'm pretty sure it's 28. <laughs> Anyways, in this episode, custom firmware. Yeah. Again. Yeah, so if you had the latest custom firmware from our last episode this summer, um, you may have this noticed... This summer? Last summer. <laughs> you might have noticed that you can't play some of the newer games or backups that are out there. So we're going to show you how to upgrade from a previous custom firmware to, to the, the latest, latest custom one. firmware. It's a little bit more involved. You gotta do multiple steps. We'll show you. Good luck. All right. Today we're going to be upgrading your custom firmware on your PSP. You're going to need a few files. You're going to need the official Sony update firmwares for 1.50, 3.52, and 3.90. You want to extract all of these and rename them, respectively, to 150.pbp. 352.pbp and 390.pbp. You're also going to need the custom firmwares from Dark Alex, which are going to be the 3.52 and the 390M33. You're also going to need the updates for 3.52 of M33-2 and M33-3. Alright, so if you're running 1.5 because you've run a Pandora battery, then you will need to copy over the K exploit patcher, which is located in the 1.50 only directory of the 3.52 M33 archive to your PSP memory stick of PSP slash game. The next step is to copy over the M33 creator folder, your PSP game directory, or wherever your 1.5 eboots are being executed from. Inside of this, M33 creator folder, you're also going to want to copy the following eboot files. The 150 Sony eboot. The 352 official Sony eboot now on your PSP. You can go ahead and execute the 3.52 M33 creator. Once that's finished, go back to the XMB and you can run the 3.52 M33 update. Just press X to read the installation was done, press X, shut down, reboot, then you'll have the 3.52 M33 custom firmware on your PSP, which isn't bad, but you're going to need to apply some updates. These updates are easy enough to apply. Make sure the game folder is set to run in 3.25 kernel mode. So turn off your PSP and then turn it back on holding the right trigger button. Then you can go into the configuration menu and select 3.25 kernel mode. Put your PSP back in USB mode, then copy over the contents of the update to your memory stick for both M33-2, go back to your PSP, execute that update, and then do the same thing again for the M33-3. Upgrade to 3.90. Just extract the update folder from the archive to your PSP game folder. And then inside of the update folder, you're going to want to copy over the Sony official 390.pbp. And on your PSP, go ahead and run the update. It looks like the official Sony one, but it's actually the custom firmware. Once that's been completed, reboot. Make sure you're running the custom firmware, and then you can go to the network update. And it will actually run the updates from Dark Alex instead of the official Sony ones, and you'll be all set. You'll be running the very latest custom firmwares. All right, so hopefully you were able to understand that, and now your PSP will be able to update automatically through the network and get and the latest custom firmware and play the latest games. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so check out our, our website, twosmartguys.com. Yeah, yeah, that's the main portal site that'll take you to the different sections. T O O smartguys.com. Yes. And upgraded the, the latest version of Drupal and, and the, the latest, latest version of PHP DB. So our forums are much nicer now, and the same people are there, even more people. Very, very knowledgeable people. <laughs> and hopefully we'll be kicking out some more shows now that i got a better little setup here and the babies are growing up a little bit more. <laughs> yeah. Say bye. Oh, and I, oh yeah, one last thing. Oh. Two, two smart hacks. Um, on, 
our weekly live audio show, and sometimes more frequently when traveling. Check it out. It's on twosmartguys.com audio podcast. Bye. Bye. We DVD. <laughs> it's out. Ten bucks. <laughs> you done? I'm done. Yeah. All right. Bye. This has been a Two Smart Guys production. I got these. We've seen this done on a major cable network show. Network show. Hey, you very good. See you next time.